Guys, welcome back. This is Austin Lenny with your Friday rant. You know, we're 15 months into a company that we bought that went from 18, 19 employees up to 36. We're back around 30 now. We're about to hire again. And something I realized, business practices, creating systems and processes, those are amazing. Streamlining efficiency, CRMs, marketing, branding, all those things are so important. But the problem is when you have an entire group of people going out into the community, day in and day out, doing different tasks all around, electric, plumbing, ele water heaters, uh, HVAC, uh, generators, you know, you can't be with them all the time. And so you have to impart your belief in business and culture and values of what you care about into them so they can make educated decisions in a timely manner in front of the customer. That is really the only, when they say culture eats uh, systems for breakfast every morning or whatever the saying is, that's what they're talking about. Because I can't be everywhere with anybody, especially, can you imagine having multiple locations? 90% of the things that go on in your business, you don't see on a day-to-day -day basis. So how do you impart growing a massive business? How does uh, a company with multiple locations create uh, a win for everybody involved? Well, the only way to do that is to be based on, and I know it sounds so stupid. You're saying, Austin, just put it up, put it up on a poster. I've seen it. I work for companies. They put it up on a poster and they say, these are our values. Uh, you know, live them, love them, learn them, you know? And I agree with you. That is a hollow conversation for a lot of businesses. But the problem is for me in my values and what the other owners in my business care about is I, it's not a, I'm not just saying them. I live them. I love them. Customers always right. We're going to value them. Pardon me. Customers not always right, but we always try to do the best for the customer. You see, see what's been ingrained in me. Those are the changes that you have to make. It's not just a hollow conversation. It's who you are and who you believe in. So if you can take part of what you believe in and you can inject it into your employees, they can begin to make decisions based on what's best for the company in that moment. Because there's multiple decisions going on at the same time. There's daily decisions, there's short-term decisions, there's long-term decisions, and then there's, you know, five years, 10 years decisions. And each one of those decisions has to through, have a through line for it to it. And then the only way to do that is to base it on a culture and a value situation. Values are not something that you just talk about. It's something that you, that you do. And so if you're out there with the customer, they see you interacting with the customer as a leader and you're doing the values that you said in person, then they can go, okay, I see, I see. But also those same culture and values are the way that you treat your employees, the way that you talk to them, the way that you ask them questions. You know, it'd be amazing as a leader to do is saying, how's your family? But like really mean it. Like, are you okay? Like I heard that was going on. Hope everything's okay. Is there anything I can do? Like those microsecond moments make up everything when it comes to your employees. So I hope that you understand that the only true way to scale your business and do the right things is through cultures, values. So I hope you got some value from this and we'll see you next time. Guys, let me take a minute to tell you about my buddies over at Lead Hub, Ben and Aaron, the best humans I know. Not only are they amazing at marketing for trade companies, but Ben started his HVAC company in his garage, sold it for multi-million dollars. So when this guy talks, I listen. When we took over Deets Mechanical, we had 22 reviews in 22 years and seven short months. We went from 22 reviews to 107. We went from a 4.2 to a 4.7. We tripled our Facebook presence and we tripled our calls. If you are an HVAC, plumbing, electric, landscaping company, and you're looking for a no BS approach to marketing, you're looking for people who have done it before, you got to go to leadhub.net.